Hello everybody, E here. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back to another book review. Uh, if you didn't watch the video from yesterday, I had an accident. I was away, but I'm back now and I'm going to try and knock out some reviews. Uh, it's going to be like way back in the way back when I used to do all the reviews on one day with Shell filming. Um, I've since moved away from that, tried to do, you know, maybe no more than two videos a day because back in the day when I was doing those things, man, those last couple of videos that I would do just weren't as, you know, not flamboyant, but I wasn't as as excited about doing those videos as I was the ones at the beginning. So I try not to do that. I'm going to try and carry over, you know, the, the I don't know what you want, I'm not jubil jubilance, jubilance, is jubilance a word? It is, it is a word. Um, I'm going to try to carry that over into all videos. If I can't, then I won't. Um, and I will try to do this um, another day also. But I know for a fact I'm going to get through two book reviews. And you're going to have a Top 5 Friday this week. You will not, however, have a Thursday Theorist. I may do something else for Thursday Theorist. Um, but I won't be doing the Stephen King book. Okay. Uh, so this is Stirring the Sheets by Chad Lutsky. I love this book. Um, Chad Lutsky is a new favorite author of mine. The guy's amazing. Um, in my Goodreads, Goodreads review, I said that uh, he's, just, he's writing on a whole different level than any other indie small press author out there. There are great indie small press authors out there. there Gregor Zane, uh, Keelan Patrick Burke. I mean, Keelan Patrick Burke, he's Cemetery Dance also. He's, he's got his own, his own thing. Um, but most of his stuff is independently published through him. Um, let's see here, Gregor, Tim Meyer, uh, Matt Hayward. Uh, there's, there's a bunch. If I'm, if I'm missing people, I apologize. Tunter Shea, um, he's more small press though. I don't think he has anything in the, but he might, I'm not sure. Don't really pay attention too much to how things are published if they're published right. And it's just the truth. Um, Chad, on the other hand, is writing stuff that you just don't see. Period. Um, you you don't see theme and subtext. You don't see those things in, in most indie works because they don't have the the gatekeepers. Either that, or they just don't know that you can do those things with with this type of literature. But the 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 point I'm trying to make is Chad gets it. You know, he he understands that these that these stories that the characters have to mean something to you. Or else the bad things you do to them don't matter. I mean, sure, we all have the fun stuff like the Friday the 13th and things like that where we just like, you know, not all of us, of course, but, you know, horror fans, we all like, you know, the blood and gore and all that stuff. But the really, really good stories, the ones that stick with us the longest, are the ones where we care about the characters. And that's why It, um, the, the 2017 movie adaptation, that's why It made so much money. Um, first off, it's a very popular IP, but also you cared about those characters. There's plenty of people I know that went to go see that movie who had never read the book, didn't even care about Stephen King, who fell in love with Stephen King and fell in, and went out and looked up that book because of that movie. Chad does things. Uh, there's there's subtext in his work that's on level with and I I got to I didn't get into an argument, but I stand behind this with one of my friends. This guy is writing at the level of like a Haruki Murakami. Um, there's there's so many different ways you can take certain things that he says, and whether or not he intends this or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but there's so many things that you can look at. He did the same thing with Skullface Boy. So many things that you can look at so many different ways. Um, like in Skullface Boy, for instance, this is my, one of my favorite scenes when the when the guy Levi is in the back seat and the woman's driving. And there's the the thing on the dashboard, um, and it's like you, the the whole the whole subtext of leaving the past behind you, and it's on the surface too. They're talking about these things, but there's certain things going on in that scene that are so subtle, but yet they mean so much. And there's a lot of that in this one too. Um, I don't want to give too much away because this was not what I expected. Uh, and that's a good thing, don't get me wrong. Um, this book is about uh, a man who, an older man whose wife has passed away um, in a, a freak accident. Well, it isn't really a freak accident, it's a car accident. But she, uh, she passes away and he, he, he's also, he also works at a funeral home. 
and there's I thought for sure there was going to be some I don't even want to give it away like I, I don't want to but I thought there was going to be more on the horror side of it and it turned out to be just a very very touching dissection of the importance of the grieving process the importance of the different levels and how you how you feel and how you need to you you need to act out sometimes there's certain scenes in here that are just utterly brilliant that you just don't see in other indie small press works um and i'm sticking to my guns uh with that now if you would like to challenge that and put people that are working at that caliber indie small press down there in the comments below i'd love to give them a try if i haven't already but this is an easy, another easy five stars. I just got Wallflower by him also, which is going to be a tough one for me. Uh, I'm a recovering heroin addict. I've uh, been clean since 2001. No applause or anything needed. Um, it's still a struggle every day. Um, being in the hospital, it was a struggle. I finally gave in to the pain medicine. Um, but anyways, I, I don't want to get too far into that. It's going to be a struggle because the story is about a person who tries heroin for the first time. So it's, as well as Chad writes, it's going to be a struggle, but I'm going to challenge myself and, and read that one next. Um, but if you've read Chad Lutsky's work, I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't, please go out and pick up any one of his books. They're super short and super cheap. The entrance fee is, is well below the quality of what you're going to get. I easily pay something like 10 bucks for something like this. I think I got this paperback for like 7 um, But it's... There is so much that he does, um, and I don't even think he—I don't even think he realizes it. Um, either that, or he's just being modest because he, he said, you know, uh, that it was something about what my praise wasn't deserved or something like that. And it, it is, Chad. If you watch this, it definitely is. Um, I read everything from Stephen King to Haruki Murakami to you know to Hunter Shea, all these things. You are definitely up there with the best. Um, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!